everybody, OCD Farming here today, and welcome back to Hickory Valley, a blank map version for a starting from scratch series. Yeah, buddy. Um, so yeah, we are starting on starting from scratch. Uh, we started off with, I don't know, 500,000, I think it was. And we also had a bunch of, uh, we had like a tractor, we had a combine, we had a bunch of stuff. So I got rid of that. Uh, we ended up with like, I think 1.1,045,000 1 or something like that. Uh, so I bought uh, the forestry area and the shop area over here. Um, this was 250,000 and this was 86,000. And then we also bought this. This was 89,000. Um, and then we added a lot of stuff. Uh, we have so much stuff for a million dollars. Not even a million dollars, like freaking 800,000. Like, yeah, not even 700,000. Um, so yeah, we do have a fair bit. Um, we have one field. Uh, I think it's cultivated, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Um, I think it also needs to be plowed, to be honest, which we can honestly do. We do have a plow, and we also have a stone picker. Yes, it does. Okay, so yeah, we can do that. Um, so I want to get the best yield possible. Um, since we do have pretty much all the stuff that we need. Uh, but yeah, we only have $1,515. Um, but we do have pretty much everything that we need for now, at least. Um, it is kind of smaller stuff, but it's, it'll still get the job done, so yeah. Uh, anyways, we'll start the map tour ski. Uh, start off at the shop here, I guess. Uh, we do have a couple things in here. Uh, we got the 1982 patina with uh, this just like I just bought it like that I didn't customize it at all so that's straight up standard freaking patina um, and we got the Jeep I did customize this just because it's so cheap it's only like six thousand dollars even with customized uh, we got the Husqvarna riding lawnmower with a four thousand liter bag attachment and that's everything in the shop uh, we got the mobile home. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we did start off with a couple pallets like last time. We got some fertilizer and some seeds. And I added a tiny little uh, petrol tank. That's that. Uh, added the shed. Pretty cheap, too, I must say. Uh, and in it, we got the Farmall 560. I think that's 80 horsepower. Um, and then we got the Fiat Agri uh, 180-90. Uh, so 180 horsepower. And this one's got a built-in weight with narrows. So yeah. I think we got two of them. Yeah, we got two of them. All right. So that's uh, everything over there. We got a cheap $10,000 shed. I think it was $10,000. Um, but in it, we got the case... Uh, 5100 Cedar. We got the Guzla Roller. We got the International Cultivator. We got the International Plow. And we got our tiny little stone picker. <laughs> this is the smallest base game one. Yeah. <laughs> and it was still freaking like 30,000 or something. Anyways, we got another cheap shed here. And we got the, uh, the Long Care Tipper with the unrealistic uh, capacity so this is honestly going to be our dumper <laughs> just because it, it'll hold a lot um, anyways we have that we got this is our tether uh, it's the Russian weird looking tether I forget what the hell it's called but yeah it's a tether uh, we got the SIP Pioneer 2.0 20 I don't know 2.0 I think uh, loading wagon tiny one and we got the uh, wind drawer. So it's the same one as that one, just the wind drawer. Red one's the wind drawer, yellow one's the tether. Gotta remember that. <laughs> Any hooser, uh, we got the multi fruit and liquid silo here. Very cheap and will hold, I think, a million liters. 
think eighteen thousand dollars or something and I couldn't do anything with this because I don't own it uh, but behind it we do have a bunker silo as well so yeah can I not that's freaking dumb I should be able to climb up that anyways we got a pretty decent sized bunker silo so we can fill a lot in there uh, anyways that's that I'm just gonna jump back to the shop here I hate doors I'd rather open gates <laughs> I'd rather wait the extra second. Uh, anyways, we got a nice uh, North American shed here. This was only like 30,000. Pretty decent size. Uh, in it, all we got is our Fiat Agri 180-90. And this one's got uh, big XL uh, tires uh, with a front loader. And we also got a front linkage. And nice forestry kind of cage around it. Very nice. Good for forestry. Very cheap too. This is a very cheap tractor. Uh, anyways, uh, we got a little log trailer here. And this does have a uh, hitch. So once we make enough money, we can buy another one. Um, we got a Devour All Trees uh, wood chipper. Um, that doesn't have the spout, but it does hold 50,000 liters. So I don't know if we can unload it but I'm hoping we can. <laughs> Anyways, we got a log grabber for our front loader, and we got a thousand kilogram weight for that tractor as well. So yeah, that's that. Uh, beside the shed, we got a, a gooseneck here, and I think this will auto-load production pallets, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we got a nice old shed here with a nice drive through area. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's a bunker silo. I don't think it's a bunker silo. No, it's not a bunker silo. Anyways, um, in here we got, it's kind of a weird shed, but it's pretty cool. Uh, very small and tight. Uh, we got our Lizard Tardis medium sized uh, liquid trailer. Uh, this still holds 20,000 liters, I think. Uh, we got this is actually new. I think it came out either yesterday or Friday. Uh, but it's the Lizard FBR Fior uh, mower. So this is a little, little mower. There it is. Uh, we got a Massey fertilizer spreader. We got a little Lizard P031 Termit 303. <laughs> yeah, little tiny sprayer. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, and we also got the trike uh, with a little liquid tank on it. And that's literally just for um, topping up the greenhouses, which are over here. Yeah, I got some different ones. Uh, these are actually vegetable gardens, and we got tree trunks all around. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this will just do, I believe, just like normal vegetables I guess I could just go over to here yeah tomatoes lettuce and strawberries so that's that uh, we got a honey pallet storage here and behind it is our honey pallet or, or beehive I mean uh, this is part of the red barn pack yeah, that's that uh, we got a pallet fork for our front loader and we also got a bucket here for our front loader. So yeah, pretty cool. I like these little tiny little things. They're cheap too. Uh, anyways, we got a chicken coop here. This will hold 500 chickens and it was only 10 grand. Uh, these are very cool. Uh, these are the grazing pasture mod, open grazing, grazing pasture mod or something like that. Uh, but it comes with a sheep pasture and a cow pasture. The sheep pasture is a hundred dollars and it holds 25 sheep so not too bad that's cool I like the bales right there that's pretty cool uh, and then it also comes with a cow pasture so yeah and you give them water on this one so I like that that's pretty dope uh, and this will also hold 25 so not a lot but 
it'll, it'll be something. We'll produce some wool and some milk to sell. So, decent. But we have to make some money to buy them first. Uh, anyways, we got a multi-fruit fill trigger there. And again, very tr cheap. Only 2500 bucks. And we got a... Uh, this is our pigsty, the large pigsty, but this is only like 30 freaking grand. This is only like 35 grand or something like that. So, yeah, very cool. I like how how, how cheap it is. Uh, and we added a water well, so we get free water. Yeah, buddy. Um, oh, and there's one more thing over here I forgot to show you. We also have a lime production, so we can make lime from our stones. So yeah, that is everything to show you. So we are going to get going on some plowing. So I'm going to get going on that in the fast forwarding. So enjoy yourselves.
I think we gotta probably spread lime. It's usually the case. Um, but yeah, we are gonna stone pick first and produce some lime, and we do have to lime it, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll get this plowing done, and maybe we'll get the stone picking started next time. So yeah, tune in next episode where we will be back at Manette Farms for episode 3. And then Big Flat, or Welker, Welker's Farm for episode 2. And then Big Flats, Texas for episode 2. So, till then, OCD Farm and signing out. Peace. <laughs>